This is the solution to written homework 55. <clears throat> so the question is about uh, the half-life of plutonium-239 atoms. We're told that uh, the half-life is 24,110 years. And the question is, is how, how many atoms would you have after essentially 700,000 years? Okay, so <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to set up uh, a model where Pn, this is the uh, number of atoms after n half-lives. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to use uh, the fact that the initial amount was um, was 10 to 15. So P equal 10 to 15. This is uh, the number of atoms after uh, zero half-lives, that is to say, at the very beginning. <clears throat> so the model looks something like this. So we start out with uh, p atoms, and then after one half-life, we have p times half. After two half-lives, we have uh, half of the previous amount, so that'd be half squared. And then after um, in half-lives, we'd have p multiplied by half to n. So after every half-life, you have half of the, the, the previous amount of atoms. <clears throat> so our formula for Pn, well, this is P, the initial amount, multiplied by half to n, where n is the number uh, of half-lives. <clears throat> okay, so the question is, is how many half-lives occur. So how many half-lives uh, occur in 699190? Well, <clears throat> the answer is N is six nine nine one nine zero divided by so that whole span of time divided by two four one one zero the amount of years in a half life and typing that in six nine nine one nine zero divided by two four one one zero that's twenty nine so there's been twenty nine half lives and therefore the answer is P29, which would be <coughs> 10 to 15 multiplied by half to 29. So t typing that into the machine, and then round to the nearest atom. Uh, that gives 1862645. 1862645. So not that many atoms. 
in the grand scheme of things. Okay, so how many years would you have to wait until you have less than a thousand atoms? So using the same model, using the same model, what we're essentially doing is we want to solve uh, solve Pn equal to a thousand for n. <coughs> So that would be um, p times one half to n. Equal to a thousand. So that would be ten to fifteen times half to n is ten to three. because uh, 10 to 3 is 1,000. So if we divide both sides by 10 to 15, that is say half is 10 to negative 12. Uh, half to n is 10 to negative 12. <coughs> Computing the logarithm of both sides, that'd be n log half is negative 12 uh, log 10 so n is uh, negative 12 log 10 divided by uh, log half Plugging that into the machine, <clears throat> uh, that says that we would need N is three nine point eight six three so we need to undergo uh, thirty nine point eight six three half-lives <clears throat> so if we round this to the nearest half-life we would need uh, forty half-lives And since one half-life is 24,110 years, <clears throat> that'd be about 964400 years. So you'd have to wait the better part of a million years. And that's the answer. <clears throat>